Hi everybody, this is Bronislava. I have a blog, Handmade Rukodielky. And uh, in the past uh, two weeks, I've been working on a project of three videos, okay? And um, so you really will need to go and watch three videos if you want to do this project. Um, the project is about a little pretty baby shorts um, for three months old baby and it does have also a little suspenders in here um, knitted directly from the waist okay so in the first video you will see how I make the leg part and how I attach it together in a second video you will go and have the pattern you know this this pattern here and in a third video you will have the uh you know what i do with the waist and the eye cords okay so that's what you will go and see so those those will be like three videos uh and all these videos i will put into a playlist okay so you might see the link right now if it popped out on the on the screen uh, and also I will post links below the video okay always look in the description below the video for any more information that I usually like to post okay okay after I um, added six more rows okay it just looks so much better and right okay so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be a decreasing for the waist and decreasing for the waist it's going to be like this so we have 150 stitches all around and i'm going to be uh, decreasing to 90 stitches in the waist okay so we will knit first stitch Then we will purl two together. We will knit two together. We will purl one. We will knit two together. And we will purl two together. And now we will repeat all this again, okay? And we can start taking our markers out as well. So let's go do it one more time. And actually, let me do it in English, okay? So we will knit one, we will purl two together. We will knit two together. We will purl one. Purl one. Now we will knit two together. We will knit two together. And we will purl two together. Okay. And repeat this again. Let me go and take my marker out. And let's go and continue like this all around. So basically what you will end up with is knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one okay so we're setting ourselves up for the waist so knit one purl two together knit two together purl one 
knit two together and purl two together okay so let me continue all around and then we will uh, go and work on our waist over here okay all right so i am all finished with my decreases okay and now i will just work for several rows uh making knit one and purl one and uh i think that i will want to have the measurements let me go and finish a couple of these knit one and purl one knit one and purl one okay um so basically what i will do is i will knit about uh, another inch over here all right so my rise from here to here is about six inches give or take uh, you can go and do as many rows as you want in here uh, according to your preference all right so uh, i don't know i'll just you know work on this um i'm not sure if i want as many uh, rows as I have down here maybe a little bit less okay and then we will be working after I'm finished with my uh, waistline here uh, I will be working on suspenders we'll just make suspenders to be basically attached to uh, to this uh, to these pants okay as you see uh, I am finished with my waistband okay and at this point um, you could either uh, bind off all the stitches okay and be finished after you sew this area or or you could go and create uh, kind of like a suspenders which i will be actually doing it with the eye cord that can be tied at the shoulder area okay and as you see i already marked a few uh, points in here and let me actually show you how it's going to go and look like uh, basically what i have i have i have 20 stitches on the on this needle over here on the front needle i have 26 stitches 20 plus 6 on this needle front needle over here then i have 22 stitches on one back needle and 22 stitches on another back needle okay now the, these six stitches basically correspond with our crotch okay so this is how i'm going to go and proceed i will be starting uh in this point and i will bind off eight stitches knit four stitches bind off eight stitches plus 14 stitches knit four stitches bind off four and four stitches altogether eight stitches this is my middle in the back okay i will knit these stitches and then i will bind off all these stitches up to here knit four stitches and bind off the rest of these stitches which is eight and six okay and then we will be making i cord here i cord here i cord here and i cord here very good so first we have to go and bind off eight stitches per my graph so this is going to be bind off one Two. and what I'm doing is if I have a purl stitch I purl that stitch and then I move the stitch over the purl stitch okay and then I go and knit my knit stitch and move this over okay so let me see I think that's four stitches now I lost my count one two three four four yes 
going to be five, six, seven, and eight. Now we need to have four stitches, okay? So this is stitch one, stitch two, stitch three, stitch four, okay? And we are going to go and put this stitch on a different needle. Okay, these stitches, because this is going to be our first I cord. And now we will go and bind off all these eight stitches, okay? continue binding off all our stitches all the way to my, our first marker because this that I marked uh, my second uh, I cord we can continue with binding off my stitches take this off our marker bind off the last stitch over here knit three more stitches so this one is basically knitted counted as a knit okay so now we will go and knit three more stitches and we will put them again on a oops Oh, what did I do just now, huh? Let me. <laughs> this is what I have done now, ladies and gentlemen. So we have to catch them. Catch them, catch them while you can. I was not supposed to do that. Let me go and take this one off. I have it stuck in there there and these are going to go these are going to go on my needle on my short needle after this i am going to bind off eight stitches Take this off and finish binding off the eighth stitch, okay? Now we need to knit, you see we, we have one stitch in here and we need to knit uh, three more. And these three more are going to go on, they're going to go on our needle. So we're going to go and move them or on our needle here. Now we will continue binding off. So we're finished with our binding of 14 stitches and now we need to bind off eight stitches, okay? Now we need to go and knit 
four stitches so we have to have four stitches here so i knitted basically three stitches right and now we will just finish we will finish binding off these stitches So we basically finished our binding off. This is going to be worked in really nicely so you cannot really see um, this end. I will show you later at the end of the movie, of the video. And as you see now, we will have uh, four eye cords. Now, now, these two eye cords are closer together because I don't like when the straps slip off the shoulders okay so this is going to go and keep them much better uh on the shoulders of the baby and these are like you know a little bit more apart okay so now let's go and start working on eye cord so let's go and knit our first eye cord and then the, all the other eye cords are going to be knitted exactly the same same way so I will start my eye cord on the right side, not on the inside, okay? And I will just be uh, pushing my needle back and forth, okay? And so over here, I will start here. On this eye cord, I would go and start here. And on these eye cords, I would go and start on this one here and on this one over here, okay? So these are our starting points and here and here okay so let's go and start working on our first eye cord i'll start you up and then you will go and make your eye cord as long as you want um, there is not going to be a set uh, rule how long they should go and be okay if you do not want to be tugging in this end make it a little bit longer here and just knit with both both strands if you want to okay but if you don't want to then you can go also uh start uh you know knitting with just one strand and then uh finish it all up we will be doing only knit stitches all right So I knitted my four stitches. I will move my needle from the end to the front and I will start knitting again. That's the eye cord. All right, and I will just, I'll just keep this out now and we will knit our all four stitches let's go and tug on it a little bit here and just again move your needle you can do it with long needles as well okay and i can go and show it to you okay let me go and take my really long uh needle You don't need to have uh, short needles. You can have long needles too. But make sure that they're double pointed. You cannot do it with regular needles, okay? So you just go and knit your stitches and then you move it all the way to the beginning, okay? And the first stitch, always try to really tighten it up because you need this yarn this yarn you need it from you need to reach from this stitch all the way to this stitch but you don't want it to be too too long okay so just 
tighten it up as much as you can. Okay, so you see you can go and do it with long needles as well. You don't have to have short needles like I do if you don't have them at home. All right, so I will just keep knitting like this until I have long enough uh, eye cord and then I will do the same thing with all these three other needles. I will knit in those spots my eye cords, okay? I am finished with my four eye cords, okay? And I need to pull yarn through my last one so I can go and uh, finish it up. So uh, my yarn is on my last stitch over here. So I need to pull the yarn from this uh, from this side in that direction, okay? So what I will do is I will hold my stitches really tight, really tight, hold my stitches really tight and I will take my needle out I will take my hook that I had ready in my hand and I put it back into the stitches, okay? With the yarn next to the handle. And now I will pull my yarn through all four stitches. And tighten and make a knot, tighten again and let's go and cut off the end okay now we need to go and weave in our ends okay so i will go and place my needle on the inside in the tube in, inside the eye cord okay and let's go let's say uh, we can go somewhere around here okay come out there. Now what we are going to do is we will try to weave it in a S kind of movement so it doesn't untangle, okay? So we can go in this direction, okay? So we will go under because this one goes in this way. So let's go under this one here. Now we have to go back in here where we came out and we will go under this, the one under both legs, okay? And we're coming out here. So let me go and show you. So we, we, we basically followed the stitch. Now we're following kind of this stitch. So Again, we came out here and we have this stitch like this. So let's go underneath here. Follow that, follow this stitch. And then we can go back in where we came out. And again, under two legs. Let's go back into that stitch and go a little bit higher up. And let's come out right here okay and let's go again let me turn it around a little bit because it's twisted and now we can go and follow this one and go under this one okay because it's coming out here so we're gonna go and follow this stitch we're gonna go inside and under under these two now we will go and follow this stitch because this is where we came out. So we will follow this stitch. Okay, so we need to go under those two and back inside where we came from. And at this point, I think it's probably pretty good. So what I will do is I just will Push my needle on the inside as far as I want, as I can. Okay, P 
pull my yarn out and I have still little left over in here so I just push it in okay so this is how I hide my ends and make sure that they do not untangle over here okay okay so let's go and work now on our front over here because it doesn't look good right so uh, here this is our last stitch where the yarn is coming out and this is our first bind off stitch so we will go underneath okay now we will go back into the stitch from top not from underneath from top and look you see and it's closed and it's nice and flush now okay and now what I will do is just go and weave in my yarn over here. The last thing that we need to do is we need to work on our crotch over here. Okay. Now I have these tails which I'm hoping that they will be long enough. So I will try to do one tail going this way into the middle and this tail going from here into the middle here and then I will tie it. So here I already did uh, one um, leg, okay? I just wanted to uh, make it first and show you how it is going to look like. And this is how I proceeded with this leg. We're gonna go and do the same thing with this leg, okay? We need to first turn the pants inside out. That's what I did with my first leg. Okay. And now what we will be doing actually is we are going to be lining up the bumps in the long lines okay so bump with bump and line with line i am going to go with my needle into this bump right in here and go out through this bump and sometimes it may be a little bit tough so you just have to go and kind of push it in okay so we have the bumps a nice flush right it's flush and fairly tight and now we're gonna come out in this direction through the long ones okay now we will go through the bumps from back to the front through the bumpy stitches like this okay and again we are going to go in the opposite direction through the long ones this one and this one and a bump and the long one now make it tight enough, but not too tight. You don't want it to be like this, okay? You just want it, you just want it uh, nice and straight. And you don't want it loose either. Bump and line. Bump and line. bump and line now we're getting to the area where we cast it on the stitches so over there so here we still have bump but over here we have those cast it on stitches and you see how you know like we have kind of like a big 
you know it looks kind of like big just just go and look what is you think is the best like i think that i will go under here right this and the same thing over here so i don't have the i don't have the big huge gap in there okay and now we will go and look where to put our needle in the best way and it looks like i do have some bump over here so i'll go through that bumpy stitch and same thing over here kind of like you know so it's like in a 90 degree to the fabric okay now we have this one in here so we can go through this one okay and this one and this one and we still have i see this one here and let's go and see what we have we have like a long one right here so i'll just come out on this side i see a stitch that i'll go through it and i finished this side over here but i will keep going over here one more one more time okay and i think that i want to go one more time in here as well let me see just to make sure and we can go and tie it tie these two make a knot and we just will go i need to you see this is our let me see this is our one of our when i was uh, knitting knitting with two strands so this is one of my strands so i can go and cut this off actually this one can be cut off and these need to be weaved in so i just will weave it in along this edge right here so and we still also have these but these were uh knitted in so i, I could uh easily just take each of these strands and just push it into the i cord as far as i can Okay, and that's about it. Okay, very good, ladies and gentlemen. We are finished. I uh, weaved in all my ends, and let me show you how it looks over here. This is how it looks. Pretty good. I'm really pleased with this. And we're finished with another project this project is actually a little bit more advanced so it's for people who are uh, more uh, experienced than just beginners but if you're very very talented beginner uh, you can probably do it as well because i am you know my videos are very very uh, detailed and that's about it for today so all i have to say is thank you very much for watching subscribing commenting have a great day happy knitting or crocheting but today knitting and you will see me another day